Uh, we'll now call here Mark Zimmer and colleague for the presentation. He participated in our Mandela Washington program, Mandela Washington Fellow, which is part of our YALI program. Um, we value our alumni very much. Uh, one thing we don't tell everybody before they go is that once they participate, we have them forever. We keep track of them. We keep a grip. We call them to come back and help and um, appreciate everything they do. So it's a long-term contribution, a long-term return on the investment that the U.S. government, uh, the American people make, and we very much appreciate the partnership. Congratulate you on this um, important festival and um, the success of your English clubs. So today I'm, I'm asked to speak about uh, cultural ties between Cote d'Ivoire and the U.S., and we're going to base this around uh, some PowerPoint slides just to, just to have a visual. But that's my section does that, frankly, the public diplomacy section. So we'll, we'll introduce public diplomacy and then exchange programs. And I hope today will be a, a, a beginning of a conversation, not the end. You all can contact us, come back and see us, either here or you know how to get to us. Most of those how to get to me. Um, we try to be open and uh, have good conversations. Cecilia in Togo, and I went to the English court, you know, classes, and we chant. At the end, we would dance. So I really, really understand, you know, your journey. And I'm here to show that um, the United States really cares about all the countries, especially uh, Côte My question is that some of the exchange program, whenever we go for the presentation of those SCA program, they normally emphasize that if you are not an Ivory, it's going to be difficult for you to apply for this SCA program. So how do we adapt that one so that people living here who are not citizens of Ivory Coast can also benefit from some of them? A passport or, or birth certificate. I didn't stand at the door and only invite people in today that are having an Ivorian passport or Ivorian birth certificate. We don't exclude people from our programs here in town or speeches or, or anything else. We want to acknowledge that there's a wide variety of people in Cote d'Ivoire and again, that's why we say people of Cote d'Ivoire. With regard to the exchange programs, there are ways to do it. It's not uh, it's not 100% simple, but it's not impossible. She is a professional artist, drummer, singer, everything. And I, I am sure that you are going to love her. So I want to call you now, Larry, Larry Sankofa. Good morning. Embassy in Abidjan. We want to congratulate uh, Musa, our good partner and friend, on the uh, English festival put on by Update Consulting. 
Um, very, very excited to be involved, and uh, we want to congratulate uh, Musa, his colleagues, and all the participants at the American uh, Space at the university today. We know that English is going to be a crucial part of development in Cote d'Ivoire, uh, becoming an even more integral part of the, the world community. And um, we're honored to be a part of it. We have uh, English language program, programs at the embassy. And we look forward to continuing our involvement with, uh, with Musa, our uh, Mandela Washington fellow alumnus. Uh, he knows that we value our alumni and hope to um, support him with future uh, opportunities from support for support from the embassy.